What's up, family? Welcome back to another video. I am Shamanism, otherwise known as Emily, and I'm an author, an entrepreneur, and a gardener. And I am here to help you grow anything and everything, including yourself. So without further ado, let's get into this video. Hit it. What's up guys? Welcome back. The three keys that you need to live your most healthy life. The biggest problem that I see with people out there today trying to get healthy, trying to get fit and be in shape is that funny enough, they don't breathe. Y'all, the number one thing that you need to be doing is breathing. And I'm not just talking about breathing from your chest, breathing or walking around. I mean deep breathing. You might have noticed that animals and creatures which take longer, deeper breaths and slower breaths actually live longer. For example, think about a dog. Dogs breathe very quickly. That's very, very fast circulation of O2 and CO2. Thus, it shortens their lifespan. The more that you can calm down, relax, and bring deep breathing into your life, the more healthy you're gonna become. So the first major key that you need to live a healthy life is to breathe as often as you can and as deeply as you can. So to keep yourself in calm mode, basically. The second problem that I see is people think that health is purely physical, that all we need to do is to eat right or eat certain things and that that's actually all it takes. Big mistake. <laughs> It's actually a lot more than that. Believe it or not, one of the biggest keys that I have seen, which is relevant to your health actually, is visualizing yourself as that being, that healthy body that you want to achieve. As my master always loves to say, if we can see it, we can achieve it. So if you can picture in your mind that perfectly healthy version of you and what that looks like, that brings you that much closer to health. And the third, and final biggest problem that I see is, unfortunately, a lot of folks are stuck in regards to the physical part. And I know I was there once too. Believe you me, there was a time where when someone suggested cardio, Lord help me. I was like, please, cardio. I don't, I don't, I don't do that. I don't, I don't do that. No, nope, cardio. No, no to the cardio. It might be good for my heart, but no you don't need cardio. All you do need to do though is move your body every single day. And it's a big key that so many people are missing. Believe it or not, for even just 15 minutes a day, you can lose or maintain or whatever your weight goal is to do with your weight. You can get that by just 15 minutes of consistent daily exercise. Now, if you're asking yourself, well, what types of exercise can I do? You know, hey, Emily, what's the best? Well, my first recommendation would be, depending on where you're starting from, if you feel very uncomfortable with your weight, say, or you have some kind of physical limitations right now because of illness or otherwise, I would say start with walking. And I am absolutely emphatic about this because for about a whole year, I think, before I even discovered yoga, all I had was walking. But in saying that, in the all I had was walking, what a gift, because that walking lost me so much weight. All you have to do is tell yourself, number one, that this is beneficial for you, because it is. And two, to realize that that movement of your body frees up everything, and it just, it keeps things moving, which means that even if you have what you think is a crappy metabolism, as long as you keep things moving, things will move, and therefore you'll be able to achieve whatever weight you want. So that would be my suggestion. If, however, you're also farther along with your body, let's say you're more in shape. You're like, you know what? I don't need to do walking because that wouldn't benefit me at all. And say you know that you would stand to do with some strength training or some flexibility or stability training, which frankly, 
all of us could use improving upon. But for those folks, I would highly suggest that if you're not already doing yoga, do yoga. Yoga has been the best, and for me, the third key. But the third key itself is moving. You have to move your body, guys. If you want to have almost anything in life, to be honest with you, you need to move your body on a daily basis. And when I say that, I mean move it to the extent where you are at least sweating a little or just using every part of your body. You know, when we go through an hour yoga practice, we bring the energy through, we take it all the way from our tippity toes all the way up to our head. And I would encourage you to do something similar because you want to unlock your whole body system. Because as I've said on my channel, opening up the body allows all the energy within your body to be loosened up for manifestation and to connect to the entire universe. So if this video has helped you out at all, give me a like, give me a thumbs up, comment down below and let me know where you're tuning in from because that is always nice to know. And if you're new here, do subscribe. And remember to ding the notification bell. That's the little bell icon, by the way, because I'm dedicated to making the next 365 days of my life the best year for you yet. So take care, my lovelies. Namaste. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Thank you.